Hello everyone, hope you are all doing great today. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Science Galaxy. I am pretty excited to talk to you all about one of the most important concepts in analytics called hypothesis testing. Many a times I find people with analytics and statistics background finding it hard to comprehend this concept. Hence, I thought of making this video where I will talk about the hypothesis test. What I do is I shall explain several tests namely one tailed, two tailed, type 1 and type 2 errors, statistical power of test by visualizing the hypothesis test which will be useful for you to understand. In another video I shall talk about in detail what is hypothesis test, when and why we use it, what is the construct of hypothesis test, how do we go about performing the hypothesis test itself and how do we draw inference from the test. I am Manjunath and now let's get started. Let's look at in this slide understanding one tail test. The green line or the green distribution is the sampling distribution of the null hypothesis and the purple line is the sampling distribution of the alternate hypothesis. Now let us take a scenario where we will be drawing multiple samples from null hypothesis distribution which is nothing but the green line distribution in the plot. What can you say about the mean for those samples? Think about it. Quite often we will get the mean very close to 80 but realize that it is also possible that we see mean far away from 80 and let us say mean will be 100 or 110 or for that matter mean could also be 120. But this is not so often important point to note. Also notice that there is a vertical line drawn at 95th percentile of the green distribution. What this implies is 5% of the population is to the right of the vertical line and this will serve as the cutoff for the one tail test. When we get any value which is to the right of the vertical line what will we do? Think about it. We actually reject the null hypothesis and as a consequence we will infer that the alternate hypothesis represented by the purple line or distribution of the alternate hypothesis is true. What this means is that sometimes we commit what is popularly called type 1 error or also called alpha in 5% of the cases when we get a mean greater than the value 95 by random chance. What is alpha? Alpha is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true. In the next slide we shall talk about two tail test. Now let us understand two tail test by visual examination. The green line represents the distribution of the null hypothesis and the purple line is the distribution of alternate hypothesis. Now notice that there are two vertical lines on this plot. Since it is a two tail test it is important to note that instead of 95th percentile that I talked about in the previous slide. 2.5 percent to the left of the first vertical line and 2.5 percent to the right of the second vertical line are left out because it is two tail test. Realize both the areas add up to 5 percent. Notice the red colored portions in this visual. The colored portion in red are called rejection regions. How do you interpret this? Think about it. Whenever you draw a sample for which let us say the mean is less than 60 and let us also say the mean is greater than 100 then in a two tail test or two sided test the null hypothesis is rejected. Let us spend time to understand what is called type 2 error which is symbolized by the Greek letter beta. Before getting into the details let us look at the definition of type 2 error or beta. Beta or type 2 error is the probability of accepting the null hypothesis when it is actually false. Moving on let us now say the purple line which is the sampling distribution of the alternate hypothesis is true. What does it mean? When we draw a sample whose mean is greater than 100 for example then we reject the null hypothesis. However, you also see a shaded area in red on this visual which is called type 2 error or beta 
those are the samples actually coming from the distribution of the alternate hypothesis but notice that it turns out they are close to the null hypothesis distribution as shown in the plot. Hence, the false null hypothesis is not rejected. Also in this plot, let us now look at the bigger shaded portion that is in turquoise color which is represented by 1 minus beta. 1 minus beta is called power of the test. Let us just understand what does it mean. For all the samples drawn from this area representing 1 minus beta, the alternate hypothesis is true and would lead to the rejection of the false null hypothesis. This is called the statistical power of the test or simply power of the test. Happy sleeping and happy learning. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments in the comments section. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and stay tuned. Give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. This is Manjana signing off and I'll talk to you in my next video.